Hey, in today's video, we're going to be painting a version of this, which is a very loose and impressionistic version of some daffodils. We're going to be using a small flat brush, a medium flat brush, and a few different colors of acrylic paints. If you don't have these exact colors, you can use what you have on hand and don't worry about making it exactly the way that I make it because one of the things that I would like for you to do is use this tutorial, paint with me, and then change some things up if you want to. Make your background a different color. Um, use different colored uh, temperatures. Try a more blue green or a more yellow green or paint white daffodils and have an orange center. There are a lot of different varieties of this flower that you can pull ideas from and this is just a jumping off point. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get started. Hey everybody, we're going to paint some daffodils today and I'm getting started with just putting down a little bit of some turquoise. This is actually called teal and I've put some down here on my canvas in just one spot and now I'm going to take a paper towel kind of spread it and that gives it a thin layer without thinning it with water You don't really want a really thick layer of this and this can you can put down some paint and then let it dry and that will be fine too however you want to do that is okay we're gonna start with that for our base color and then we're gonna just kind of map out where our our daffodils are gonna live and we're gonna do that using some burnt sienna and our smaller flat brush. We're going to use a smaller flat brush and a little bit wider one. Okay, so we're going to put five flowers here and it usually works best to put things in odd numbers. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five little spots. This one's going to be a little bit bigger and then these other four are about the same size. So that's where our actual flowers are going to be and we're also going to have a lot of dark green grass. <coughs> Excuse me, grass down here and going to use sap green for that. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. Just Even though we're going to cover this with a lot of green and then eventually with our Payne's gray, it's still good to to go in the motion of what would look like the longer stems of the daffodils, something like this. You can bring it up to where your flowers are going to be, but you really want to put in most of the dark down here on the bottom, just get really messy with it and just let it kind of happen. Okay, so there's our start. I'm going to wash my brush. And now we're going to take our yellow ochre. And we're going to take the same flat brush and just give ourselves the indication of some petals here. So 
We said this one's going to be bigger. We're just going to make these little shapes like this. And most of the time, there are there's a large variety of daffodils. There are all kinds. So you do the the kind of daffodil you want it to to be, but the ones that I have in my yard have six petals. So I'm going to put six petals here. But on this one, we're going to use this circle as the center and we're going to make this one turn this direction by just adding really short petals here and then our longer ones over here. Don't worry about making it look perfect. These are going to be very loose, impressionistic. We're turning this one the opposite direction. Shorter petals on this side, longer ones on this side. This one, this is the center. He's going to be turned this direction. And Put some shorter petals here and longer petals here and up here and then this one same thing make our longer petals like this and our shorter ones over here okay so now we've got our flowers placed where we want them to be and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go around this, kind of cover up this turquoise using our Payne's Gray, which is almost black. It is a very dark blue. I'm not sure why it's called gray, because it doesn't look gray unless you add white to it. <laughs> but we're going to use that. And we're just going to start going around and in between. And it's okay if you cover up some of the green because we're going to come back and really make that green stand out more using some white. So you may want to just think about this like you've put down your base colors and then we're going to add more on top and really make it come alive with our highlights. So now this deep dark blue is going to look really pretty against our bright yellows that we're going to add in just a little while. And this turquoise that we've got put down first is going to peek out from around the edges of some of these flowers. And if you notice, I'm not being very careful going around the edges of things because we just put down kind of the shapes of them. We, we aren't being very meticulous about making it look like these petals have to be a certain way. And I know that I paint really fast, so if you need to stop the video and do a part and then play it again and move on to the next section, then that's just fine too. So I'm just really loosely and really quickly putting down this dark background color. We're almost there. Okay. Now you can go ahead and paint the edges of your canvas too if you'd like to do that. I am going to wait and come back and do that later. I am going to add a little more right here. But as far as like the actual sides of your canvas, you can, can go ahead and paint those with this dark blue if you would like to or 
you can come back to that later. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of our cadmium yellow and some white. And I use a big tub of white because I use a lot of white paint. I'm going to put that down right here. bit of a glare on our painting from my light so let me see if I can fix that a little I don't think that's gonna help it's just because the paints wet okay so I'm gonna clean my brush and right now all of this dark blue is really wet I need to get out some green. Um, so we're going to work on our leaves. Our leaves and we'll come back and work on these actual flowers in just a minute. But I'm going to take some white and some sap green on my brush. So I'm going to lighten up the, the green a good bit. And using my, my small flat brush I'm just going to make a little swipe and come up and you can make those as wide or as thin as you want and have a lot of fun with this because there are just no rights or wrongs with doing this part. You can take your time or you can do it really quickly and get just lots and lots of texture and make your some of your petals sorry not petals blades of I guess these would be called leaves I don't know these little stalks that grow up beside our um, flowers you can make them however you want them to look and we will come back again layering more and more on top as some of this dries Okay, now we're going to get into that cadmium yellow that we just got out. So let's just pull some pure yellow through some of these petals that we've got here. And then these that are turned to the side, remember, keep them short on one side and longer on the other. I got a little bit, oh, I got a lot of blue in there. It'll be okay. This is going to be more like a shadow in some of these. So if you got some of your blue in there, use that while it's on your brush. Give yourself some shadows. And the shadows are just going to give you even more depth when we come back in a little bit later. Okay. So let's let that dry just a little bit. We'll come back to it in just a minute. 
Okay, it's still a little wet, but we've let, we've let it dry just enough that I think we can work with it some more. If you want to, you can let yours completely dry before you go into this next stage. Okay, so I'm going to get my small brush back out. And we're going to work on the centers of these flowers. So I'm going to go back to my burnt sienna. And especially on these, let's add a little white to that. Especially on these that are turned to the side, we're going to make something like a little cone shape. It's not really a cone shape. Um, it's kind of smaller at the bottom, and then it gets a little bit bigger. So it's not really a cone, but it's an, uh, it's not really an oval either. <laughs> it's sort of like, um, let's call it a, a rectangle that is rounded off on the edges. Does that make sense? So for this one, it's going to turn this direction. So we're going to make it a little more like that. And then this one, that cone shape is kind of in the middle here. It's more like a cylinder. Is it a cylinder? Is that what I'm trying to say here? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get some white and some of this yellow, this bright cadmium yellow. And we're going to work on some more of these petals here. And just lighten those up. Try not to think too hard. And just put down a lighter, just a lighter shade of yellow. And my blue is still pretty wet. So I'm having to work kind of carefully. Okay, let's work on this one a little. I'm really loading up my brush with paint. This one here. And then this one. Okay. I'm going to put a little more white over here on this one, I've really got so much paint on my brush and that helps to keep your colors from getting too too muddy um, but that, that does help a little bit. Okay, I'm also going to make just a few little spots. Let's do one there and maybe one back here. That looks like it could be a flower and wash our brush again. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take our dark green and we're going to make the center of each of these flowers a really dark green. I think this is going to help you to see more about what I'm trying to do with these 
the center of them. All right, and now we're going to get out a little bit more of this burnt sienna. And a little bit of the yellow ochre. And we'll just kind of dab our brush in both colors. And make a, sort of a rounded little swipe on each one of these. And then on here, let's go around the edge of this, just kind of tapping around, give it that little bit of a ruffle that it kind of has. Okay, and then you may need to put a little on the other side, a little dab. I'm really heavily loading my brush. Okay, let's let that settle a little bit and go back to our green. It's like this. this up because I can't figure out how to get my glare to go away. Maybe that will help. Okay, so we're going to use this sap green and I'm going to put in a good bit of white. And See on my brush I'm just really loading it very heavily and then you can just kind of drag it. Just drag it through. And you can make all kinds of great texture with this. And while we've got this green, let's put a little, little bit of some lighter spots in between. Where the center is of our flower here. And then we're going to go back. I've still got green on my brush. I'm going to go back into my yellow ochre. Let's pick up a good bit of white. It's going to give me almost like a bright lime green and we can put that in here just in a few little spots okay I'm going to just wipe that paint off of my brush onto a paper towel Pick up some more white and really highlight some areas. So I always save the bright white for the last thing that I add so that it doesn't get all muddy and you can really put in lots of highlights. You don't want to cover all of your yellow, but you can put a good bit of white in here and it's really going to help it to stand out. Now on these, 
that are turned to the side you may want to put some of your white along the edge right in here kind of around and right up next to where we put in that really dark um, really dark green and these are very impressionistic so I don't want you to think too hard about shape because then it's, you're going to get a little frustrated and I don't want you to be frustrated I feel like I need a little bit more of something right here that petal may need to just be a little bit bigger. I think that helps. Okay. Let's pick up some yellow ochre and just tap that in those little spots right there where we've got two more. So now we have one, two, three, four, five flowers and then I put in just the indication of maybe two more that live in this little general area that is one version of our very loose and impressionistic daffodils with a very dark background like I said you could try it this way and then come back and put in some different colors you could make your background white you could make your background turquoise um, just play with ideas maybe even just start with one flower and and paint different colors around it to see what it might look like if you change the background on it but I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see what you make <music>